Some of y'all bitches replicas be looking a mess. I said it, be upset with, with your mama, not me. When God opens the window, bitch climb through it. <laughs> Ooh, let me try that again. Oh, real hot girl shit. of a new weekend vlog I, this whole vlog just aged really terribly really terribly like i'ma keep saying weekly vlog this weekly vlog girl this is a month <laughs> literally today is july 2nd i started this vlog the weekend of juneteenth I actually think I did it the weekend before the weekend of Juneteenth. So th again, this whole vlog just aged terribly. I apologize. I'm gonna keep saying weekly vlog. It's not. <laughs> I'm gonna say weekend first. Didn't do that. Then I'm gonna say weekly. Didn't do that. Then I'm gonna say two week vlog. Didn't do it. Bitch, this is a month. This is a month. So I just, I apologize. Okay, I'll, I'll see y'all. Editing me will pop up again. I was supposed to go out yesterday night, but me and Shayla were only going out because, long story short, before I even get into it, hi, my name is Ari Carr. If you've never seen me before, welcome to another vlog. I have a full playlist of vlogs here on my channel, so please click the I above. And if you like these vlogs, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, moving on. So basically, me and Shayla were going to go out last night but we were only going out because she met this girl on bumble and we're trying to have like a group of friends because listen i ain't got no fucking friends out here which is why i think i don't like atlanta like that and i figured if i'm gonna live here for at least the next you know six to seven months well what we're in june so what the next six months um before my lease ends i might as well make the most of it um and in doing so I need to have some type of friend group like I can't just sit at home every day like because mentally it's just it's not doing well for me um but I'm broke as hell but that's like for another we can talk about that another day so we were gonna go out to docs which that same place I told you I told y'all about in my last vlog but the girl ended up just like disappearing on us so we didn't go out because I was literally only going out to meet her but I'm broke so I was like I'll save the gas and just you know me and Shay will do something next week or next weekend um, when I get paid but me and the girl I've been dating we're going on a double date to time bitch I told you I was gonna be back so um unfortunately <laughs> we did not go on the double date like at all like the girl not my girl but her best friend's girl if that made any sense and I don't have nails on we don't we're gonna get here but the my my girl's best friend's girl she ended up canceling at the last minute and being like i'm going to a friend's pool party but then like ended up not even going to the pool party so it's like girl if you don't want to hang out with us you could have just said it because that's how it's that's what it's reading <laughs> that's what it's giving but either way again this whole vlog just aged terribly no we didn't go on a double date at all i actually ended up going to that exact spot that we were supposed to go to with shayla weekends later which will also be in this vlog because again, I'm terrible. Main event, um, which I guess is like a sports bar, but I guess they also have like games in there. So, you know, ski ball, I think they have um, air hockey, which I love. We had an air hockey table when I was a kid. So I love air hockey. So we're going to be doing that. Um, and that's basically, you know, what I have planned for today. I'm going to be double dating with her best friend and the girl that her best friend has been dating. And the girl that her best friend has been dating is like a boss. Like she has three businesses. She lives in a high rise in downtown Atlanta. So I'm really more excited to meet like the friend, like the, the friend's girl. Just because like, again, I'm trying to make friends. Shayla and I, like we just need a group of like four 
women that way we could go on trips and like you know the, the pictures where you see like four like black girls and they all like different skin tones and they all got bathing suits on that are different like skin tone colors and they'd be like in Jamaica that's the vibe that I want by the end of this year I'm trying to give Jamaica with black women <laughs> Or, you know, Jamaica with women, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to give that vibe. But at the same time, I've been meeting, like, girls that want to be my friend. But, like, it just, like, it ain't clicked all the way. Which is why I haven't, like, really been trying. So, I don't know. A part of me feels like I need to stop complaining and be grateful. Because I keep meeting women that want to be my friend. And I keep, like, blowing them off. But then, at the, on the other hand, I feel like I shouldn't have to force it. Like, when me and Shayla became friends. Because I only met Shayla in October of last year. Literally, when I came here in October to apartment hunt, I met her on Bumble and we just clicked ever since. Like, me and Shayla talked every day for, like, maybe four months straight of just talking every single day because we just, we get, we vibe. It's very hard to explain. Like, me and Shayla could be busting out laughing, sitting down in a, in a boring room with nothing in it. Like, literally, like, our personalities, like, we, I just don't know how to explain it. Similar with Imani. Like, me and Imani just click very well. Me and Imani could talk for four hours straight randomly on a Tuesday as if we didn't just talk three days before that. Like, it's very strange. <laughs> but that's just, like, I don't know how to explain it and I feel like I don't want to be in friendships that are forced but at the same time I also think you know when God opens a window bitch climb through it so I can't complain that I ain't got no friends when I keep meeting women that want to be friends and I just am not you know just because I didn't click with them initially so I don't know um I'm just it's so weird so let me tell y'all I've been getting like this itch like this literal itch um, well, I did actually have a literal itch because when I went to my mama's house, y'all saw I went to Charlotte. My mom doesn't believe in air conditioning. So literally, and our air conditioner at the top part of our house is broken. So literally, our house was 81 degrees every single night and day that I was home. It was 85 during the day and 81 at night. So literally, I was sweating so much that I broke out in a heat rash. Like, I still have it. I don't want to flash y'all like my chest, but I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it at all, but it's like, it's right here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, but I, granted, thankfully, it's only just there. But usually when I break out in heat rashes, it's all over my body. So, you know, by the grace of God, it's only just on my chest, but it was so hot. <laughs> so I've, you know, I've been trying to like leave it alone so it'll go away slowly. But you can see I was itching the fuck out of it earlier. Like it has a little mark. I was itching the fuck out of it like days ago. But anyway, what I was trying to tell y'all is that I'm so broke. Like, I literally just have, like, my rent money and, like, a little bit more than that. Like, that's it. That's literally it. Granted, I get paid next Friday. But, again, getting paid every two weeks is just... Uh, I haven't had a, a bi-weekly, like, pay in so long that I forgot what it's like. Like, it's literally been over a year since I've had, like, bi-weekly. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm so broke and I have to, like, manage my money more. And I've just been having this deep itch to buy something expensive and reckless. What I mean by that is a, a designer bag. I don't know where it's come from. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's just because I follow all these, like, aesthetically pleasing pages and they be having like designer bags. I don't know what it is because I was following those pages before and I didn't have this itch but I just had this deep desire like you deserve it you've been working so hard you got promoted at work which my promotion later on in a, a lot at another time we will talk about it because it's a promotion but I still get the same pay but you know it's fine it's fine we're not even i'm not even gonna be upset about it because at the end of the day i'm grateful for whatever whatever god has given me i just need to be grateful and work with what i have before i can get more back but at a different angle now i'm on my couch um so now this is a week later um like the next clip y'all about to see is a week later that was on a saturday that i was talking to y'all now this is the following thursday so just to piece it together because i ain't got no transition so <laughs> you get in what you get and I told y'all at this point it's a compilation <laughs> if y'all remember my last vlog I said like oh I just want to spend crazy money and I don't know why which I still have that urge like I don't know what is wrong with me what's been going on with me but like 
I just really want to buy something expensive and I don't know why so I figured I might as well invest in therapy it's expensive as hell but I know I'm gonna use it and I believe you get unlimited sessions so I can go to this therapist twice a week or every single day if I wanted to or go to multiple therapists or talk to someone at all at, like it's open 24 7 it's not just like office hours so I say all that to say I'm gonna really try this out and like see how it goes I still have the urge to spend like crazy money I don't know why but like I said I'm supplementing that urge with therapy look what's on its way I told y'all I have been itching to buy a designer bag and I took the plunge and bought a Telfar bag unfortunately I did have to buy it from StockX because y'all know Telfar bags be sold out all the time so I paid way more than the usual price the usual price is $150 your girl paid $228 it just went up a dollar um but it's okay we are supporting I wanted a designer bag so bad I was gonna get a Gucci bag I was tempted to get an MCM bag I had to talk myself out of getting a Celine bag when really I should be supporting luxury black owned businesses so I say all that to say I just took the plunge eventually I don't know if it'll be in this vlog or another vlog I will unbox it I also wrote like just some goals for myself and some things that I want to have done by the end of this year on some post-its and put it on my board and I'm currently watching Kim Foster right now from Fort Harriet she has like two channels one is Fort Harriet and then the other one is um Kim Nicole Foster where she talks about like pop culture similar to what I do with Tea and Testimony but a lot more eloquent a lot more regal a lot more um text-based like you know she'll cite books or she'll cite you know just very like intellectual property she's very good with pulling from that versus I just kind of like be ranting <laughs> so if you want a more like educated read like she still be reading the girls down but it's like an educated read so I'll put her channel down below but today is june 16th so today's wednesday so it's been a couple days since y'all seen me i think the last time y'all saw me was monday but i finally just took the plunge and bought a bag because it's weird i thought once i bought like because the therapy that i have now invested in i just got matched with a therapist um and my first session is this Sunday so it's in you know in some days I'm excited but nervous but the therapy is not cheap like I said I, I don't know if I told y'all before but it's like $60 a week but you pay for an entire month up front and then you pay every month after that so because of that I don't know like if it'll be worth it but it was expensive it's like 200 and something dollars and I thought that would like scratch the itch of me wanting to buy like something expensive but it didn't like I was still looking at Gucci bags looking at Louis bags looking at just stuff that I know I cannot afford <laughs> and I was like well, I just want something nice and design and I don't know where it was coming from but I was like you know what let me just scratch the itch now with something that one is still nice two isn't a thousand dollars because a louis bag a thousand dollars a gucci bag nine hundred dollars like where am i going <laughs> you know i live in south atlanta where am i going like sis i have a white refrigerator not stainless steel a white refrigerator where am i going so anyway not the point so i was like you know what why don't I get myself something nice? So I told myself I was either gonna get Yeezys or I was gonna get like the Yeezy slides or I was gonna get a Telfar bag. Of course, you know, Telfar bags always be sold out, but I bought one off Sock Exchange. I wish I had bought it directly from the website cause you know, excuse me, supporting black businesses. But either way, I was about to spend all this money on these Caucasian owned, you know, fashion houses and fashion brands when I should be supporting one of our own. So I bought myself a Telfar bag, which is a hot bag already. Like everybody and their mama been fiending for this bag. That's why it's going for over a hundred dollars of the actual buying price because it's, you know, like the hot it bag. So even if I buy it and I, when I receive it, I don't like it, I can always resell it because the reselling price is high. Um, and everything on Sock Exchange, well, I don't know if everything is authenticated, but at least the, the bag that I bought, the Telfar bag, those are authenticated. So you're not getting no fake bag. I don't, like I said, the itch, now that I've bought the bag and I put my card information in and I'm done, I don't have like that itch anymore to buy something expensive. So I think we're good now. 
Y'all, today has just been like a terrible day. Like a terrible day. The freckles keep going on and off. It don't matter. It's only like 11.30 and so much shit done happened. <sighs> I need to talk to y'all. I need to talk to somebody. So fuck it. Y'all gonna be that today. Basically, let's start from the top, right? I go to the hair braiding shop because I want to see my hair braided. I was like, oh, I want the, you know, the pop smoke braids. And I showed them a picture. They said, fuck the picture. They said, oh, we're just going to give you what we want. <laughs> Not even close to the pic. Like, fuck it. Fuck, you wanted cornrows? That's it. Don't ask me for too much. Don't ask what you wanted thicker? No. You want it this way? No. Like, they don't do none of that. And on top of that, y'all, they don't even comb hair. Not even comb. How is this a hair salon? And y'all tell me to my face, oh, we don't comb hair. So y'all won't even comb out my so I comb out my hair myself, even though I'm in a hair salon with hairstylists that could do it. They don't wash hair, so my hair kind of dirty, but who can, fuck it, we're already here. And she was like, oh, and here's the blow dryer. So I basically did the half the shit myself. What am I paying you for? Just to braid the braiding hair into my hair, but I'm paying you all this money and you don't, like, you're not a hairstylist at this point. Baby, if you learned how to do cornrows in your mama house and now you just got a booth somewhere, you could say that. Because, the listen, that, I was about to cut somebody African mama out today. And that's not even the, that's not even the end of my story. So, I get my hair done. Fuck it. It looks how it looks. I'm a, I only did this because I want to go swimming. So, it's, it's going to serve its purpose and I'm going to just take the shit right out. Whatever. Moving forward. I'm I was like you know what I need to go to Walmart you know get some groceries I go to Walmart get my groceries and I'm like you know what today yeah she something's wrong with her car and she lives on the north side of town so it would have been too far for her to drive especially if something's wrong with her car so she canceled unfortunately so we were supposed to hang out but it didn't happen so I'm already like my hair fucked up my friend can't come like what can today can't get worse right wrong ho wrong tell me why I'm like you know what what makes me happy Waffle House I love a good chicken melt anytime, anywhere, any place, and any time. Like, I'm ready to get Waffle House because I just feel like I deserve it after what I have endured this morning. Tell me why! I go to Waffle House, I'm standing in the line waiting to order. This man in a white shirt is, like, standing in front of me. And randomly, he places his order, and then randomly, he's like, fuck this shit i got something for your ass like i don't know who he was talking to but he just randomly outbursts like yells at that and then goes to his car if a nigga says fuck this shit i got something for your ass i'm leaving i'm leaving long story very short um if you want to live in south atlanta just know it's the ghetto like it's it, <laughs> i see why mulatto be repping it so much because whoa it is treacherous okay two times last week because it's south atlanta it's like almost the boondocks the power went out i pay all this money to georgia power and y'all can't keep my fucking lights on like twice last week the power just boop went out and then they couldn't even tell me when it was gonna go back on just poof, out <laughs> fuck you sorry you give me all this money 100 dollars, almost 200 dollars a month and y'all can't keep the power on and then on top of that, someone's car in my neighborhood got a brick through it because it was like two cars down from mine. So it's just ghetto. It's hood. You know what? <laughs> it's just. <sighs> anyway, I hope y'all have a good day because. <sighs> hey, don't hate me, but. um. <laughs> Woo! I am the worst vlogger ever because let me tell you why. The last time y'all saw me was like forever ago. So the last time in the last clip I was ranting and raving about my hair. That was on Saturday. Today is now the following Thursday. So it's been damn near a week. <laughs> um, so much so that my Telfar bag, I don't know if it's Telfar or Telfair, I say Telfair, but I'm also, you know, a hood booger. Maybe it's Telfar. I don't know. Telfar sounds more bougie. It don't matter. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be delivering today. So if it does, I will show y'all. And then I don't know if I'm just going to make this like a really long vlog. Like I haven't had... Oh, I had a zit here and I popped it because I'm an idiot. It's not a herpy or nothing and I didn't get hit in the mouth. It was like a weird like 
I think my pore was just clogged, but it doesn't matter. The point is, I don't know if I'm just gonna make this like a long vlog. Like when I say long, I don't mean like 20 minutes cause my vlogs lately have been like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I think this one might be like 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Um, cause it's just, I just been so terrible and it's just like a lot of clips and it's just all over the place. So I apologize. But today is Thursday, the 24th. I think so. Yeah. Thursday, the 24th. Um, I had my first therapy session cause I think I, I don't know if I told y'all I enlisted in better help. I had my first therapy session. It went good, but it was too short. Like it was only 30 minutes. So my next therapy session this Sunday is going to be for 45 minutes. So it's going to be a little bit longer and we can kind of get more into like my issues rather than just like an introduction. Like, how are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, no girl, this is what we need to talk about. So that's what we're going to do. Also, the girl that I have been dating, her birthday is next Monday, but we're celebrating this weekend. I already gave her her gift, which was just like two t-shirts um the little 25 like the balloons like the, the two and the five balloons um and then I also got her a card um yeah that was it It was pretty like low key low key low key <laughs> low key or low key is a, a villain from I think it's Marvel but it doesn't matter the point is um I already gave her her gifts but I think we're still gonna like hang out this weekend and stuff. So we are gonna hang out because she told me she wanted me to go. So that's basically what I got going on for this weekend. Like I said, I apologize if this vlog is like gone with the wind long, Twilight series long. I've been terrible, so I'm giving y'all a long ass vlog long. Like you know when your dad like don't be in your life, but then you get gifts. So it's like to make up for it. I mean, my daddy was in my life, so like I can't relate, but I'm just assuming that's what it'd be like. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it must be like um but yeah also I don't know if I told y'all earlier in this vlog but like I applied for an opportunity I don't find out until July 1st if I got it or not but if I did get it then we're moving like I literally will have until July 12th to be moved to this new city and if I get it then I'll tell y'all like what city I'm moving to because it's not a secret it's not like the other opportunity where I'm signing an NDA like this one it's still a contract involved but it's way less like stressful but if I don't get it then I'll tell y'all who it's with where I would have moved like I'll give y'all all the information if I however what was I trying to say? If I don't get it, I'll give y'all all the information because I didn't get it. So it's not like I signed anything that I can't say. Um, and if I do get it, I'll still tell y'all where I'm moving. I just might not tell y'all who I'll be moving in with. So that's about it. Um, if I get, cause my tell fair, tell far, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just know it's bouge. Okay. I just know it's bougie. So it is what it is. And it's black owned. Okay. And I'm coming for the forever mood candles next. Um, I want to have like a collective haul one day of just like only luxury black owned brands or even like black collaborative brands. Like I would put Yeezys in there or like, um, what's his name Virgil Abloh from um because he has off-white like I would do stuff that at least is collaborative with black people or black you know um fashion icons or, or fashion um influencers just stuff like that I just want to showcase things that are luxury but that are collaborative with black people because I feel like a lot of times black people show luxury items and it's always like Italian brands or just white owned brands um but they don't be showing love to like other black owned brands don't get me wrong though if I have to show a brand, Versace is like my favorite. So that's, you know, that's deception. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Telfar bag is coming tonight. So um, it was supposed to be delivered on July 2nd, but it's actually coming early. So the UPS sent me the notification that between two and six today, it should be arriving. So hopefully I'll be able to um, unbox that in this vlog as well. I just appreciate y'all for working with me. This vlog is probably a million years long, but I just appreciate y'all rocking with me throughout this journey of a vlog, okay? Being around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. I'm still vlogging. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just cleaning up a little bit. We're on break from my job and I actually have to go back now. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, we are in my kitchen. 
Hey, sorry for the lighting, um, but we are going to unbag this tell far bag, tell fair, tell far, I don't know. You say tomato, I say potato, it don't matter. We are gonna unbox this bag, honey. Um, I tried to record this already and my camera just decided to delete the footage. Like I, I lifted up the camera and the battery fell out. So all my footage deleted. So we gonna do this again. <laughs> um, but it just comes in a standard, brown box and my address is on top of this so i'm not gonna get too close um but just a standard box and i went ahead and cut the tape off and here is how your bag will come it will come in a plastic bag i don't know if this is the standard tell far packaging like anytime you order a bag this is how it comes or if it's just because i got it off of stock x that it looks like this but this is how it comes with the logo on the back and inside there is a little receipt i'm not going to bring it too close to the camera because it does have my address on there but the bag on the telfar website retails for 150 however because i bought this off of stock x because y'all know the telfar bags tell fair whatever i don't know how to say it um because the bags be sold out all the time of course the value of them has gone up which means if i wanted to sell this bag i can because the value has gone up um, so I bought it for $228 and then with taxes and processing fees and shipping, um, it ended up coming up to $266.21. I believe StockX is located in London or just like in the UK because it did take a little over a week to get to me. Usually with stuff in the US, it's like two to three days, especially where I live here in Atlanta, I be getting stuff like within 24 hours. So it could just be because this was in the UK, it took a little bit longer, which is why that shipping fee was so high. Oh my God, unboxing. So when you open it, um, there is a little thing from StockX. And one thing about StockX, they do authenticate anything you buy. So you're not gonna buy nothing fake because they do have to go through an authentication process and they actually give you like notifications like, oh, your bag or whatever your item is has just been authenticated, now it's being shipped to you. So really the authentication is what takes the longest amount of time because once it got authenticated, I literally got it. It said it was authenticated two days ago and I just got it now um blah 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 so it does have a little sock x authentication slip as well as just like some information about stock x this is my first time using them i think i might use them again when i go to buy some yeezys um the little yeezy slides or like the little yeezy foams here is the dust bag that it comes in um it's just like a standard dust bag and it does have the logo on it as well ew and here is the bag so it does have a little slip again from stock x showing that it is verified authentic which means this is not a fake bag it matched my nails so good it's not a fake bag we ain't doing listen we ain't doing no fake bags over here okay if i'm gonna pay the money i'm gonna get the real bag i personally to me i'm the type of person i would rather just get the real bag and pay the money than get a fake bag because i feel like some of these replicas be looking a mess some of y'all bitches replicas be looking a mess. I said it, be upset with, with your mama, not me. But y'all hoes replicas be looking a fool. So no, we're doing authentication over here, okay? 100% verified. Um, So let me cut off the strap. I love this. I might get my nails orange again, just cause I'm about to get my nails done next week. I might get my nails orange again, just because this is so cute. I don't like though that the strap isn't adjustable. I don't know why I thought this was an adjustable strap, but it's not, but it does have, please inspect item, all claims null and void if tag is removed. So it's telling me to inspect it, make sure it's good before I remove the little thing. Cause once I remove it, I can't return it is what I'm assuming. Like if I think it's fake, I can't return it if this little chip is removed. So that's just a little tip if you buy from StockX if you see this on there and you remove it and then as you inspect it, you realize like this is fake or you don't like it, you can't return it because the chip has now been removed. So just a little tip, um, looking inside, it does have the Telfar little thing here, which is how you can tell that it is real. 
Um, small shopper bag. I wonder if it has, maybe because the bag is small, it doesn't have like an authentication card. I know when I get stuff like, like Michael Kors or whatever, it'll have like a little authentication card. I don't see that, but I also don't know if these bags come with that or not, but I do see the tag here that says Telfar. So like I said, they did their own investigation and verified it as real, as well as there is this chip on there. So if I do feel uncomfortable or, or if I do feel like this was a ripoff and it's fake, I can return it as long as I keep this chip on there. Which because of that, I'm gonna keep this chip on there until I decide to wear this, just in case if I do change my mind. Like I said, I have that receipt from my bag, which cover my address. I have the receipt for my bag and then I also have the actual chip on there and I have the tag. So if I do decide, hey, I just want to return it, I can. And you can see that they did buy it from Telfar because it does have the small shopper, like the actual tag on it. And it has the correct color too, which is orange. That's the type of stuff I look for is when people will buy stuff and get like fakes. If it has the tag, you have to check to see if it has the correct color. Cause some people, it might be an orange bag, but then the tag says blue. How, what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it looks pretty real to me. Um, like I said, for the amount that I paid for it, I feel like I don't think it would be fake and it doesn't feel fake to me. But you know, just in case, I am gonna keep this chip on there until I decide to wear it. It is a, handle bag but it also has these long straps which personally I don't really like the long strap. I mean I think I'm supposed to wear it like this not like this but I like to do this with my bags but this is just way too high up on me like why is it touching my rib cage so I'm gonna more than likely wear it this way but I don't know why I thought these were adjustable to where like you can adjust them or stick them in the purse. These are just way, they're very stagnant so you can't like adjust them. I'm just giving y'all all this information so if any of you guys are interested in the Telfar bags and you want to buy one, this is kind of like the information that I wish someone would have told me just so that way I would know like, hey, the bag, some parts are not adjustable i.e. the straps but you can tuck them in if you want it's a little bit clunky but it will fill out the bag so if you like it to look more uniform and more shapely this will fill it out um in comparison to my hand this is how big the bag is if you can see i can probably fit a few cards in here and my phone but i can't fit a whole wallet in here if that gives you any like size comparison um what else can I tell you there is a clasp in here so if I wanted to clip the bag close you can so there is functionality with the clasp so you don't have to just have the bag hanging out however there is no zipper so if you have stuff on the sides it can still fall out but at least in the middle it's going to be hard for it to fall out because there is a clasp there um and yeah, there's no other pockets or zippers inside the bag. It's pretty uniform. There isn't any like extra space in here, but like I said, it is a pretty cute bag. Um, and when I find a cute fit to wear this with, I will definitely show it to y'all probably later in this vlog. <laughs> um, but that is my little unboxing of this Telfar bag. So today is Saturday. Last night, me and Shayler went out to um, main event, which is like this place here in Atlanta, in downtown. And well, it's more like it's at the Battery. That's the best way I can explain it. Like it's out in Cobb County, so out on the north side, it's at the Battery. We went to main event, um, which ironically we went to main event when I first met Shayla for the first time ever. So I was i hadn't even moved to atlanta yet and like 
I had met Shayla on Bumble because Bumble has like a section for friends. You can literally just go to Bumble and in your settings put in BFF the, and you can match with people wanting to make friends. So I met Shayla on there and she seemed really cool. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be in Atlanta in two weeks. If we can maintain our friendship for at least two weeks, then um, when I come back, because I came to Atlanta, if y'all saw the vlog of when I was house hunting, that's when I was on Bumble trying to make friends. So I was like, well, I'll be back in two weeks. We can hang out. So I come back two weeks later to do my music video, which there's also a vlog for that. So if I can find these, I'll put both of those in the eye above so you can click through and see those vlogs. Um, or I'll link them down below so you can see those vlogs. But basically, um, she just was really cool. This was last October and she was just so sweet and so cool. And I was like, you know what? How about we meet up? And she was like, how about we go to this place called The Battery and we'll go to main event, which is like, you know, just really cool um like bar but it's like lit and we went there last night and the battery was full like everywhere we went to the battery it was just deep with people yard house was full this other place um like was full as well like the actual like the I think the battery like the actual battery part was full because there was a baseball game that I didn't know about and it was deep like can I tell y'all something and don't judge me but like I think I have social anxiety and I say this relax I'm not you know not pulling a summer walker but relax like but I feel it because like when I went out yesterday that that was the most people I have seen since COVID like I haven't seen that many people since before COVID happened so I started to get like anxiety like my heart started beating really fast and I started sweating and my hands were sweating and I just started to like almost feel like I was gonna pass out like I genuinely felt like I was gonna pass out just because it was so many people and everywhere I like I couldn't breathe because it was just everywhere I looked someone was next to me and I don't know I literally told Shayla I was like I need a minute <laughs> So we ended up going to another part of the battery, like another bar, because it's just like a string of bars and restaurants. Um, we ended up going somewhere else, which was the place that we went the first time we met up. So it was very like nostalgic, like, wow, we went here the very first time we hung out and like, look at it now. Like literally what, eight months later, we're still hanging out here. So it was very nice. Like it was nostalgia. It, it was a good feeling, but I just realized like, I guess I have a little bit of anxiety when it comes to large crowds. Like I had a little bit of anxiety before, but I never like, it never phased me. Like it never stopped me from doing anything. If that makes any sense. Like it was just like, Oh, you know, it's a lot of people around me, but I'll be okay. But for some reason last night, like it was just too much. Like I literally got scared and I don't know where that's come from. Like I've never been like that before. So I, like I said, I don't know if I have now developed some type of social anxiety, but it is what it is, <laughs> you know, I can't, can't change it. So, you know, we're just going to work through it. I, I have a therapy session on Sunday, which is tomorrow. So I'll probably bring that up tomorrow, but yeah. Um, but tonight we're going to the street club. So right now I'm just chilling. I'm not really doing much, just watching YouTube. <sighs> and then, um, I'm gonna cook myself some food because the one problem I did so I've never had a hangover before so this is my first hangover ever at 24 <laughs> I finally have a hangover um, because I didn't eat so we were gonna go to Waffle House but the Waffle House like the line was just way too long um, so I ended up just like going home um, and I didn't eat when I got home either like me and Amani ended up like talking for a while like I didn't go to bed till like two 30 245 in the morning um but I was just like I don't know I was just too tired to cook and I was too tired to wait like you know at Waffle you know because there's a Waffle House down the street from my house but it's like I don't feel like waiting at that Waffle House like for the food to be ready and on top of that that's the Waffle House where the nigga said like oh I got something for your ass like and went to his car so I already be looking at that Waffle House sideways because I don't know what the fuck that man was trying to do but I'm not playing like that like if, if a nigga finna start busting guns at Waffle House I don't need to be there so the point is I haven't really ate yet so I, I have a headache so I'm going to drink some water take an aspirin cook myself some greasy breakfast food some eggs some bacon I have some English muffins I'm gonna make that 
and I'm just gonna chill today until I end up going to the girl I've been dating's house because it's her birthday um, next Monday she is a cancer so we're celebrating her birthday this weekend so she went to Six Flags yesterday and then we're going to the strip club tonight and then she's doing something else tomorrow but I'm not hanging out with her tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna grocery shop wash my clothes like all the adult stuff that I've been putting off <laughs> um, I'm going to do that tomorrow and yeah Bring me back to the green Say it only Let's get drunk Forget what we did Why don't try hate me but uh that's the end of the vlog <laughs> i didn't even end it this is a mess so today is the second which is the following friday <laughs> Ah, but i love y'all so much thank you guys so much for watching don't forget i look like a rooster <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next vlog i'm gonna try to be more consistent i don't know each like weekend i felt like i wasn't doing enough to put in a vlog so i was like i'm gonna extend the <coughs> not me about to die i was like i'm gonna extend it a few more days then i kept extending it a few more days then i kept extending it a few more days and i was like all right at this point it's just a month so i'm gonna try to do more like weekly vlogs like that's my goal if i can do four weekly vlogs in a row that is like my goal i'm gonna try i'm gonna try please hold me accountable because i know y'all like these vlogs so please hold me accountable but i'm gonna try okay i love y'all i'll see y'all in my next one bye